Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Langchain tools are a specialized app made for large language model. They allow the large language model to connect to external sources and services, such as APIs, databases, and search engines. We can use this tool to create a more versatile large language model. For example, if you want to have a real-time weather update, use Google search engine or translate text into different languages. On today's video, we are going to explore three of these tools, DALL-E Image Generator, DuckDuckGo Search, and Wikipedia. So, without any further delay, let us get started. All right, everyone, uh, let's now uh, deep dive and start exploring the tool. But first, as usual, you have to install the requirement OpenAI and Langchain. And I'm sure by now you already have an account with OpenAI. And if you don't have an account, please go to OpenAI, create an account and ger generate an Open API key. All right. So we, the first tool that we are going to, uh, to explore is DALL-E Text 2 image generator but first what is dall e text to image generator that we are going to work on now uh, openai dall e is a text to image model developed by openai using deep learning methodology to generate uh, images or digital images from nature language description such as by providing them a prompt they will generate an image for us okay so in order to uh, work with this tool first we have to go to langchain dot chains and import llm chain then also from langchain dot prompts we have to import the prompt template after that we are going to langchain community dot uh, utilities dot dal e image generator and import the dal e api wrapper all right now we have to create the llm object so we'll say llm is equal to open ai with temperature equal 0 0.9 for creativity and now we have to define our prompt we'll say prompt is equal to prompt template it will has an input variable we want to have only for this example one variable and let's call it image underscore description all right after that, we'll have the template and we are going to say generate an image based on the following description. Image underscore description. All right. So what we are doing here, we are asking it to generate an image based on the following descrip description which is the input variable that we are going to pass to this prompt okay and then we are going to create our chain we'll say chain is equal to llm chain llm is equal to llm and prompt is equal to prompt let us run our code and make sure it's working I get an error that's because I did not import OpenAI. So we'll say from langchain underscore OpenAI import OpenAI. And now it's working. Now let's create an instance of the DAL E API wrapper. So we'll say DAL E API wrapper. And we are going to say dot run. And here we are going to pass to dot run 
the, the output from the chain. So we'll say chain.run and we are passing the input to Dubai New Year. Okay, so we want uh, this chain to generate for us a creative prompt about Dubai New Year and Dal E to generate the image. What we are doing here essentially is that we are feeding the, the creative text generated by the open AI model to the DAL E as the image description. This method will return the URL of the generated image. So here, let me put image underscore URL equal this. So if you run this code cell, and now we can print the image underscore URL. This is the generated URL of the image by DAL E text to image generator. Now, if we copy this URL and we go to a different tab, and we paste the URL, we get the image. All right, and that's how you can use the DAL E tool in Langchain. All right, now let us work on the second tool, which is Duck and Go. All right. Uh, this tool is designed to perform uh, web searches using the DuckDuckGo search engine. The good thing about this tool, we don't have to go and create an API key. We can call it directly. You can do the same for uh, Google search engine, but you have to create an account and generate an API key. So the first step here is to install the library. Duck go search all right i have already installed it so it said the requirement already satisfied then we will go to langchain tool and import tag tag search go search run all right now we will have create an object equal to tag then go search run and here we are going to say search dot invoke and we pass what we want to search for example let's say one did samsung galaxy s24 ultra released okay this will return the result so here at the beginning we'll create an, a variable called output equal to the search result and after that we will print the result okay let's run the code cell and we get it okay it was updated in uh, 31st january 2024 all right let's ask another question let's say who was the first usa president and it says george washington okay and that's how we can use the tool duckduck go search all right now let's check the wikipedia tool so we'll key wikipedia. all right here first we have to install the Wikipedia library. Next, we are going to go to Langchain underscore community and then import the Wikipedia query run class. This class will help us send query to Wikipedia and retrieve the result. After that, we will go to Langchain again underscore community and then utilities. And here we are going to import the Wikipedia API wrapper. All right. This class also will wrap the Wikipedia API and it will provide a simple interface for making the result. Okay. 
Next, we are going to define our wrapper. So we'll say API underscore wrapper is equal to Wikipedia wrapper. Okay. We'll have two parameters here. The first one is top underscore K underscore result, which is the number of result to retrieve. So we'll say it's equal to one. And the second parameter is doc underscore content underscore character underscore max equal to 500. This uh, parameter will set the maximum character length for the retrieved document content. So our result will be maximum 500 character. Next, we are going to create an instance of the Wikipedia query run. So we'll say wiki Wikipedia is equal to Wikipedia query run and we are going to pass the API underscore wrapper is equal to API underscore wrapper. Okay. This line of code will set uh, the query engine for interacting with Wikipedia. Now we can invoke the invoke method on Wikipedia. So we'll say Wikipedia dot invoke. And here we can send now our query to Wikipedia. The, the query here is made up of a dictionary with a key query. Okay, so we'll say query and let's say we want to check pine cone. Okay, so let us now run the code cell and we get an error. Cannot import name Wikipedia query run from Langchain community. And this error is because here uh, it's not from Langchain community, it's from Langchain community the tools. Sorry for that. And if we run our code now, and here we get our the search result. Okay. And if we want to get more information, let's say 1000 and run the code again, 1000 character, we get a longer response. All right. So that's how we can use the Wikipedia tool in Langchain. And that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and uh, learned something new. Please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to my channel in order to get notification for my future update and learn about the world of artificial intelligence. Happy coding and see you in the next video.